Hello! So in this video, my plan was to show you all the sweaters I have ever knitted that I still own. So I took them all out and it was like 30 sweaters. <laughs> and that's way too much for a video, I think. Or do you want to see 30 sweaters? No. So uh, this video is not going to be that long, but I'm going to show you my favorite sweaters, the ones that I use the most. Okay, so the first one is this sweater, and it is the No Frills sweater by Petite Knit. I think it's like four or five years since I knitted this one. It's used so much. It's knitted in silk mohair and uh, lamb's wool from Rauma. So it's super soft and I don't know if you can see the color, but it's really nice. It's like this fresh green color. It doesn't come out on the camera as good as it should because it's ah, such a nice color. I never get tired of it. And I think like this sweater is so simple. Uh, it's, it goes with everything. So that's why I've used it very much. I made this version a bit more cropped um, than the pattern said. And um, here you get two for one because this is the second one. It is the same pattern. And here I used some um, leftovers I have. I had, I used the Holst yarn in, I think it was tedious and uh, super soft. So it's one thread with wool and one thread with uh, silk hair. So this color is one cone. This is one cone. This is one cone, and here I had a bit more of the white. So it's like a really good uh, sweater for scraps. And I think it turned out really great. After I knitted this one, I saw on uh, Rauma's uh, website that they, they, they released a new sweater and they had almost the exact same colors as I chose. So I, if they saw my sweater, I take that as a huge compliment. So this one is a bit longer bit longer on the on the body and uh, I love to have a bit longer sweaters so this is used so much it is actually a bit weird that this next one sweater is on the most worn list because it turned out okay but then I washed it on wool program in my machine and apparently you're not to wash this yarn on wool program you're supposed to wash it on delicates so it grew, <laughs> and here it is. So it's a Marius sweater, and the pattern is from Sunless Garn. The, uh, the pattern has not very contrast color work, but it's like the vanilla yellow and white pattern. So the sweater became so much larger than it originally was. <laughs> so this is, the reason it's on my the list of my most worn sweaters and favorite sweaters is that I wear it all the time at home. But it is not a sweater that I wear outside home. It rarely happens. But it's still super warm and it's long and I it was not supposed to be this long because it grew, obviously, but but I love it. It's so chill, but it's not my proudest knit, but well, it's one of my most worn sweaters, so it has to go on the list. The next one is the Balloon sweater, also from Petite Knit. I'm a sucker for from sucker for Petite Knit's patterns because they're so easily to follow and simple, and and the sweaters often turn out great. So, but this one is also knitted in one strand of Holst yarn. It's one strand of Holst Super Soft and a silk mohair from um, Plume it's called actually, but it's I think it's silk mohair from Rauma. And it's also like, I was going for this nude color with like a tiny hint of pink. So it's like nude pink. I think it's turned out just the way I wanted it. So it's also cropped. I worn it a lot with the like high waist jeans and sometimes a skirt. And I'm a sucker for high waist, the high waist fashion. And now it's time for a self-made pattern. And it's this one. I made this from um, the yarn is Finul. It's translated to fine wool. And it's like a 
beige brownish color with some um, some nuance to it and so it's actually a really basic uh, raglan sweater where i knitted the the neck double and then i made some uh, short rows to make the back neck um, go higher than the uh, front neck and i think also it's turned out really great and when i made this i was just gotten pregnant and then i thought like how can I use a wool sweater without ruining with my large belly? So I actually made this in the sides. So it's like, so I just made some, just like buttonholes here. And then I made an eye cord and I have just pulled the eye cord through, through the, the holes. So it's actually a split from here to down here. So you could use it without the eye cord too. But I kind of like the, the look that it gives. It's also really warm, although it's not that thick. And it's also easy to pair this up with, uh, with other stuff when it's like a neutral color. So now to the sweater I've used the most of all sweaters. Here it comes. <laughs> Ta-ta! I'm real. I'm really pleased with this one, if you can tell. Uh, this is also a me made pattern. And I really wanted an, you know, the Aran sweater with the cables and yes, and moss stitch, or as we call it in Norwegian, palestrik. It's like pearl, translated as pearl knit. I think that sounds so much more delicate. And it's used so much. I, I think you can see because it's actually starting to be like a little worn. I tried to remove some um, some lint, but that's not. <laughs> I didn't do do it so well. So this sweater is also actually a basic raglan, double um, double neck, knitted down, and then it's like I centered the centered a thick. What is it called? Cable, cable it is. <laughs> I centered. Uh, a thick cable on the sleeves and two on the front and two on the back. Ironically, the two sweaters, the two last sweaters I showed you is the one that I've showed the least on my Instagram. And uh, maybe it's because I wore, <laughs> I wore it all the time. It never had time to be taking pictures of. It did take some time to knit up because of all the cables and everything. But I did uh, think about that the cables, the round where you do the cables can be in the same row. So you don't have to pay that much attention between the cable rows. So it was a real fun knit, but it took some time. Yes, but oh, I'm so pleased that I, that I finished it and uh, and I want to knit another. I just have to gather the courage <laughs> and the time. So this is like the winner. So I hope you got a bit inspiration for your next, next sweaters and I would encourage you to try to knit your own patterns if you think that's something you could, uh, could enjoy doing because it's really fun and of course there's a lot of errors but it's, it's so fun when you get the perfect sweater and I believe you will feel extra proud just like I do. <laughs> okay, see you next time! <laughs>